Hello everyone, my name is Bottletop Hornet and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. <laughs> we are where we left off at the end of last episode and we're just about ready to get started on mining out this entire vein of iron that is spread throughout this tough, deep down underground here. So, the question that I really want to answer in this episode is how much iron is in one of these veins? I've heard tell that uh, you can get upwards of 2,000 pieces of iron. I assume that's once it's all been uh, fortuned and everything like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to silk touch all of the ore. We're going to try and use our silk touch pickaxe and go through the entire thing. See what I can find. I'm pretty sure it extends over to there and upwards. Uh, we might actually trust our feather falling <laughs> and uh, head over. Yeah, it does look like it sort of goes up through there. And uh, we're going to have to chase it around a little bit and see how much we can find. While also probably lighting up the area as we go. Now, one thing that we are going to need to do is probably locate ourselves a little bit of water. Uh, future bottle here. I just want to point out that until the point where I started editing this video, I literally had no idea that I already had this bucket of water in my inventory. The whole time. I had no idea, but we're going to continue on with the episode and keep that in mind. <laughs> oh God. Uh, because I accidentally forgot to bring a bucket down here and I don't really feel like going back through the nether. So I'm just going to have a quick look around here and see whether I can find a piece of, uh, of water flowing around the cave. There we go. We can actually see part of it extending down into here as well so it's definitely an iron ore vein going through this whole area that's great i'm really excited to see how much we get from it honestly but if i could find myself a piece of water to protect myself from all of the uh <laughs> oh excuse you to protect myself from all of the lava around we might have a decent chance at, uh, at doing this in one go so i suppose my best bet is to go back up there find a bit of what Buddy, no, that bat just died. <laughs> but yes, go back up top, see whether or not I can uh, find some water. And then we're going to get into a time lapse <laughs> because it's probably just going to be, uh, I don't know, what, two, three, four hours? Who knows how many hours of mining? Uh, it depends on how big it is, and I'll probably try and continue to mine around it looking for more to make sure that I get as much as possible. So once I get this water, we'll get ourselves started. All right. So, with a bit of water and also a couple of extra pieces of coal that I just want to quickly fortune up just so that we have enough to uh, make some extra torches for lighting up the area as we dig through it. There we go. Beautiful. I'll put that away. And in reality, I probably won't need the axe, but I'll keep the shovel on me too. We're going to put away, in fact, we're just going to drop some of the dump stuff in here. And I think we're just about ready to go. Oh, wow, they really went flying. <laughs> okay, so I think what I want to do is set up a little bit of scaffolding directly across there, just because it's going to be easier for me to go to there and then we can dig upwards. I'll use this scaffolding if I need to get across at any point, or we can just use uh, some of the netherrack so that it's nice and easy to break later. But we're going to get straight into it. We're going to see how much we can get and uh, answer the question. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse. I will uh, do my best to keep it nice and easy to follow. And once we're done, we'll be able to jump back in, see how many resources we've gathered, and then uh, hopefully have enough iron for a beacon. All right, I'll see you guys on the other side. Hope you enjoy.
Well, that ended up being a little bit more of an effort than I anticipated. In total, I spent around seven hours, I think, mining out this whole area. And as a result, we had a couple of happy little accidents here and uh, gathered a few resources of different kinds. But the main one we were after, this one, we got a lot of. So in here we have 1,737 of the deep slate iron ore. And then these blocks here add up to, I think, 288. Let me just, hold on. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 256, 288. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, I don't have a, huh. I don't actually have a, ah, there we go. Let's turn those back into blocks for now. So, there was 32 of those block of raw iron uh, in this area, and then the rest of that was all grabbed. There may be a handful, possibly only about that much, that I got that weren't part of the vein, but they were very nearby. But in general, I tried to keep these ones that were just out in the normal area untouched so that I could get a more accurate count towards how much is in here. So I dug my own <laughs> my own cave system essentially i had to heal my pickaxe two full times and so i went through this pickaxe essentially three full times so multi multi thousand blocks of use and if we can even get up here all of this was completely full and i have mined out the entire thing it's honestly kind of ridiculous <laughs> And not only that, there are definitely some super, super large sections that you might have noticed during the time lapses. All of this was completely uh, full and I've mined the entire thing out. And one of the biggest ones that I did was over here. If we drop down here. Uh, no, it was up there. Damn it. Now I have to find my way back up. But over here, I mean, this, this cave is completely dug out by me. All of this, all of this, <laughs> all of these areas here, it's kind of unbelievable how much room these take up. All of this, and I think we popped out into a slightly more open area just here. Might have been a natural cave. I can't quite remember. In fact, it might have all been dug out by me here as well. Either way... This is definitely natural. But yes, either way, it was quite an impressive amount. So now what we're going to do is grab all of that stuff, <laughs> put some of it in. Uh, oh, I also found this. Another happy little accident. But I'm going to grab all of that stuff. We're going to take it back to our base. And I think it's about time we fortune it up and see how much we got. Oh, dear. So, <laughs> I tend to uh, edit up my time lapses and the footage that I have around them shortly after doing them just to make sure that they're all good. And I am now aware that I'm an idiot. <laughs> I even put that water bucket away without putting two and two together. <laughs> I hope you guys found that funny because that is the most embarrassing thing. Anyway, I'm going to uh, put as much of this as I can into my ender chest and I should be able to carry the rest with me. And we're gonna go back to base. I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Plenty hell. <laughs> ah, okay. So, one thing that I do need to do is uh, probably take this ender chest with me because I left the other one back over in that area. But in that ender chest, we have our fortune pickaxe. And I think once we get rid of this rain, probably by sleeping through the night, we're going to go over and pile it up. <laughs> we're going to make a giant, giant stack of iron and fortunate. I'm so excited. So I do have the numbers written down of how much we got in the ore form. And then I'm going to compare that for one, see how we do as far as our luck with the fortune. Although when you do it about this scale, it does tend to even out to the average of about 2.2. And then 2.2 uh, times, I believe, is the uh, the average. But from there, we will we'll see how much we get. So I'll see you guys once it clears up a little bit. Oh, interesting. It actually has just turned into a thunderstorm as I got over here. And that makes me wonder whether we're about to get 
a spicy friend. <laughs> so, I'm kind of considering whether or not we try and make this happen right now. Now, I know I could do this with a trident, but I haven't enchanted one up yet, and it's kind of fun to use the new lightning rods as an option. So we're actually going to hang around here for a little bit while this thunderstorm goes and see whether or not we capture that turning into a charged creeper. <gasps> oh my god, that was literally seconds later. Hi, friend. Uh, oh god. <laughs> um, things are happening. So, one thing that I do want to do is quickly capture that guy and uh, get him back in a boat because I don't want him running away. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you. Come here. I don't want him running away and, uh, and despawning. Oh, everything's happening. Now we have a trident drowned over here. Who... For a second, it looked like he dropped a trident. But I don't think he did. No, he did! Uh... <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> okay. Interesting. So... I don't have a shield on me, so I should probably go make sure I have a shield quickly. Because I would like to see whether I can get a creeper head. So what I'll quickly do is come back in here. I can't believe I just got a trident. Oh my god. Uh, we're going to put that with the rest of the tridents that we've gained so far. I'm going to grab a piece of this. And some wood. <laughs> Make ourselves up a shield. I left the other one over in the... Uh, the mining area where we were just at and let's see if we can find another creeper to lure closer ah i see well he's there <laughs> we have that ready we'll probably do that to finish up the episode mm, actually hmm okay watch this big brain time we're gonna get rid of this guy here we're gonna lure you over and uh, make a mess of the front of our, of our area. Now, if you aren't aware, you can click a creeper with a flint and steel and they will explode no matter what. So, what we're going to try and do is lure this guy over nearby, click that guy, and then put up our shield so that we guarantee that he goes off first. Wish me luck. Oh, don't lose aggro on me. I need you to come a little bit closer. We don't want this guy. And let's head over. Come on. This is a little bit scary. Yes. Ah. That'll do. <gasps> what? How did that not... Ah. Uh... <laughs> Apparently that won't do. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, looks like we're trying this again another day. Probably with our trident. Ah, oh, well. Let me patch this up and then we'll go do that mining. Ah. <sighs> okay. Well, with a little bit of unsuccessful shenanigans behind us, <laughs> what we're going to do is uh, find a good spot to pile up all of this ore. And I think maybe over there looks pretty decent. So what I need is an area, oh, of course I picked the only one that wasn't a full stack, is an area that is 8 by 8. So, if we come over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, we should be able to remove that, get our 44 back, and we should be able to do one stack of this ore per layer. So 8 by 8 is obviously 64, and bah, bah. that is one stack. We had over 27. So I'm going to stack this up into a giant pile. I might even point it slightly because it looks prettier. And then we're going to stand at the top and dig it all down. <laughs> so I'm thinking a quick 10 second time lapse. Oh. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> that has gotten us to the top, and uh, I need to sleep, so we're just going to 
fail an MLG. <laughs> but luckily we already have the stuff. But look at that. Oh boy. I'm going to quickly sleep and, uh, and then we'll get into tearing that down. So that is a mostly, well, it is solid, but it slightly uh, gets thinner as it goes up. That's a lot. That's a 1,700 and... Uh, 37, yeah, 1,737 uh, pieces of iron ore, which we are going to put away our silk touch. We're going to drop off some of this unnecessary stuff. I'm going to grab eh, a double chest, should do it. And we're going to put a double chest down at the base here and make our way down with the fortune. So I decided since I didn't have elytra, I would make a little set of stairs going up the outside. So that's what that is for. I'm going to put this here. And uh, yeah, we're going to head up top and do pretty much the same thing in reverse. <laughs> so jump up here and up to the top where it didn't quite finish the whole thing. But let's see how much we get. And uh, two 10 second time lapses back to back. I think is probably the easiest way to show this off. So 10 second time lapse time. Well, that took me, what, two full Minecraft days <laughs> to mine it out. I got a little bit of leftover in my inventory, but look at that. So if I stack all of this in order, like so, we have 54 stacks plus five is 59, nearly 60 stacks of iron. Now the beauty of having the uh, the newer setup like we do, whereas in the newer updates you can combine the iron ore like that into a, a block, that is going to allow us to see the exact amount of iron blocks that we will get from this venture. And hopefully, and I think I already know the answer to this, it is more than enough to make a beacon. So I'm going to fill my inventory. We're going to turn that into blocks of raw iron. Put those away and that is actually already enough you only need two stacks and 36 to make up an entire beacon so okay let's see how much we get all up all right so one two three four five six and a little over a half stacks of iron blocks once it's all smelted up that's decent. <laughs> that is a lot. Now, let's do some calculations. Originally, we had over 1,700 of the ore to break up. 1,737 to be exact. With that, we can work out that 64 of these times 9 times whatever this is, is uh, 3,811 pieces of raw iron. So... We divide that by 1,737, which is the amount that we got from doing all of that mining, and we end up with 2.194. So almost exactly 2.2 times the amount of iron as the ore that we mined out, which makes sense. Over this larger scale, it is going to be nearly exactly the amount that Fortune 3 multiplies it by. So 2.2 times 2.194, pretty damn close. Not bad. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. That is a lot of iron. Like uh, that's, that's a lot of iron. That's a, that's a lot of iron to smelt. We, we need to smelt it. <laughs> uh, we need a super smelter. Don't worry. I knew already that I was going to have to smelt it all up. And uh, that's what I plan to do for the next episode. I think we're going to add the super smelter onto the end there. And so we're going to have to make sure we have enough fuel. We're going to need to uh, build it all up. And we're probably going to do maybe a 16 furnace super smelter. Nothing too ridiculous, just something nice sized that will smelt stuff up pretty quickly for me. So one thing that I quickly want to check before anything else is how much coal I have. Because I think while we have the fortune pick out, it might be worthwhile 
portioning up some of this coal ore. We're obviously not going to do the deep slate coal ore because I actually have a bunch of it uh, over where we were. And I'm pretty sure I had more than that somewhere. I'm not sure. But I'm going to put all of this iron in here for now. And we'll probably end up doing all of our iron at once so that we have a good supply to keep us going. For now though, we're going to do a little bit of the coal ore. Now, I'm not going to bother doing this in a 10 second time lapse or anything like that. I'm just going to uh, build this up and chop it all down and see how much we get. But, ooh, before I do, huh, I left my damn ender chest over there because I want to heal up my pickaxe. The uh, Silk Touch pickaxe, I can probably get a decent amount of experience by mining all of this up. And so we may as well heal it a little bit as we go. So I'll grab that silk touch. We'll actually pick up this and now we can build up a tower. So I'm going to build this up and then chop it down. Okay. And we're going to grab all of this and quickly sleep the night away. All right. So, oh, good. Good. <laughs> it was a decent amount. So that is a good amount of coal to get us started. But in fact, we should be able to work out exactly how much we will need to smelt all of this up as long as we do it efficiently. So we know that our number of iron that we got from mining all of that up over there was 3,811. A piece of coal smelts eight pieces of anything in a normal furnace. And so we should be able to just divide 3,811 by eight, and as long as we have that much coal or more, we should be fine. Which is like 476, give or take a few. And that equals seven and a half stacks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a half. We're fine. That was plenty. So that's good. That means that we should be able to get prepared and build up a super smelter there, smelt up all of our iron, and we should have more than enough iron for the time being. Nice. So that way we know that we have enough coal, we know that we've got plenty of iron, and I'm going to hit my goal of being able to have enough iron to make an entire base for a beacon that we have out there, which is great. That's going to help with uh, doing more building around this area, or even just slightly speeding up the mining of deep slate for all of the stuff that I need it for. And we're really starting to get pretty kitted up without actually having to go fight the dragon. It's kind of amazing what you can do and how far you can get and how far I kind of plan to go before going out to fight the dragon. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this and I'm excited to set up this little blacksmith and super smelter area. I think it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to look great coming off the side of this building and it's going to give us a chance to get back into doing some more building again. So with that, I think we're going to end the episode here. We're going to come back in the next one and build this up, do some more work on this side, which is really plain and build ourselves a super smelter to smelt up that iron. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm uh, I'm really glad to know roughly how much you will get out of a iron vein. Obviously it's going to vary depending on the world and where you are, but 1,700 and what was it? 37 pieces of ore? Not bad at all. And a fun question to answer. So I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters, especially my level three supporters, Ness, Carl, and Master Shifu for your continued support and everybody else. Thank you so much for the likes and the comments. The likes really do help and it's been helping me get out to more and more people. So I appreciate it a lot. Thank you guys so much. So until the next episode, I hope you guys take care of yourselves and I'll see you then. <laughs> bye bye everyone. Take care. Whoop.